Checking out. Yes, we're ready. Mayor, would you like to proceed? Yes, please. Good evening. This is the meeting of the Earl Highlands Mayor and Council regular meeting on Wednesday, March 6, 2024. The notice requirements provided for in the Open Public Meeting Act, Public Meetings Act, have been satisfied. Notice of this meeting was properly given by transmission to the Asbury Park Press and the Two River Times, and by posting at the Borough of Highlands Municipal Building and filing with the Borough Clerk all on January 1, 2024. Items listed on the agenda are subject to change. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I will now do roll call. Councilmember Cervantes? Here. Councilmember Jalak? Here. Councilmember Melnick? Council President Shevsky? Here. Mayor Bruan? Here. Um, first, we have approval of minutes, February 21st, 2024, meeting minutes. I'll offer. I'll second. Councilmember Cervantes? Yes. Councilman Chalak? Yes. Councilmember President Shevsky? Abstain. Mayor Bruan? Yes. Motion carries to approve February 21st, 2024 meeting minutes. Next, we have February 21st, 2024 executive session minutes. I'll offer them. I'll second those. Councilman Councilmember Cervantes? Yes. Councilmember Machilak? Yes. Council President Shevsky? Okay. Mayor Brulan? Yes. Motion carries to approve February 21st, 2024 executive session minutes. Next, we have introduction of proposed ordinance. 02403, amending Chapter 21, Zoning and Land Use Regulations, Part 7, Flood Damage Prevention, Article 24, Flood Damage Prevention, Section 21-112, Permits. Um, I will offer it. This was uh, based on the recommendation of our construction official and floodplain manager to amend these uh, fees. I'm looking for a second. I'll second. Council Member Cervantes? Yes. Council Member Chalak? Yes. Council President Shevsky? Yes. Mayor Brulon? Yes. Motion carries to pass Ordinance 02403 on first reading with a public hearing to be held on March 20th, 2024. Next, we have resolutions R24076, approving change order number three for phase one sanitary sewer improvement projects. I'll offer. And I'll second. Council Member Cervantes? Yes. Council Member Chela? Yes. Council President Oshevsky? Yes. Mayor Brulon? Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution R24076. Next, we have consent agenda. Mayor, would you like me to read the resolutions by title? Yes, please. R24077, authorizing refund of tax overpayment. R24078, authorizing the release of escrow for a land use board application. R24079, authorizing the execution of an agreement for snow removal, street lighting, and reimbursement between the Borough Highlands and Gateway Plaza. R24080, accepting donation of a 2006 Chief Liberty 4x4 from the County of Monmouth. R24081, authorizing the award of a non-fair and open contract for professional services in connection with the FY FEMA Assistance for, to Firefighters Grant. R24082, authorizing submission of a grant application for the FY23 FEMA Assistance to Fighter, Firefighters Grant. R24083, author, um, approving first aid squad application. R24084, authorizing payment of bills. I will offer it. I'll second that. Council Member Cervantes? Yes. Council Member Chalk? Yes. Council President Shevsky? I just have one question. Mm -hmm. The chief is still functioning? Yes. The 2006 chief? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago we got a, a charger for the first aid squad through the same. The county donated one of their used vehicles to us. Okay. Yes. Council uh, Mayor Bruan? Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolutions R24-77 through R24084. Next, we have reports. Uh, other business? Before we do the reports, uh, we have um, oh, yes. a new opportunity, I will put it. Um, 
attended a meeting a few weeks ago with the folks from um, to do a voting event here in town. Uh, it would be in May uh, from the uh, 17th through the 19th, 19th on Sunday, where on, on the 19th uh, there would be a series of uh, motorized boats, uh, boat races uh, that would happen throughout the day. Uh, they're planning, uh, they've already submitted all of their stuff to the um, approvals and such to the Coast Guard. And uh, they are asking for our support to do um, some events uh, in and around either the parks or the beaches around town throughout the weekend. Uh, mainly they're looking, uh, HBP is partnered up with, um, with this outfit that actually does this all over uh, the country. They've, they've been uh, very active. It's uh, called the Offshore Powerboat Association. And um, they do many events. It brings a lot of people in. A lot of people could be, um, they could watch from pretty much anywhere on the water or from the bridge or from Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Uh, they can watch from all over the place. Uh, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, like I said, it's been done uh, over the years in many other states. And uh, one of the clubs is the Jersey Shore uh, Boating Boat Racing, and they wanted to bring it back to New Jersey. So this is our chance to make this happen. And um, predominantly, I think what they're looking for is sort of like an Oktoberfest type event over in uh, Veterans Park. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically using that park for that same type of thing where refreshments and uh, food and giving the uh, first aid squad and the fire department, Lions Club, all of our local uh, people, local restaurants, a chance to, um, to feed people and just have some fun and let mm -hmm. them watch the boats races there. So, so this um, is the first time they're, they're coming to town? First, first time. time. First time in yeah. Paris, yeah. Uh, wow. uh, so uh, HBP and the Jersey Shore uh, Boat Racing Club are asking for our support for this event. It sounds like it could be a really interesting uh, for us. Uh, they're very excited. I'm pretty excited. I know Karen is very excited as well. Uh, so is the chief. So is the chief. Uh, it really looks like a great event, and I think uh, we should give them a shot and see uh, see how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I guess we would look to do a resolution uh, for next meeting. For next meeting, but just now to just get everybody talking about it, thinking about it, look up these organizations. <clears throat> uh, they really do a tremendous uh, amount of work. And Karen has some more information. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, the main thing that they need to get is the approval from the Coast Guard, which the organization is not worried about, but it still hasn't come officially through. So we're kind of, HVP is not advertising it yet or, you know, pushing it too much. But there's a committee um, formed for it. Uh, the chief is on it. I'm on it. Um, Carlos Zavallo is on it. Uh, Valerie Montecavo, a couple of other people. Uh, all the uh, marina owners are uh, on board with it. Um, they're not, uh, there's no problem with the wake. That was what uh, was raised at the meeting when the mayor was there as well, too. Because these boats go so fast, they're like out of the water. And it's just a, you know, it's like a cigarette boat. You've seen them, the, 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 the sailboats. So, not sailboats, speedboats, I meant to say. Uh, we'll be having a meeting at pharmacy next week. Uh, then we have a meeting every, every week in April to make sure everything is going through. And uh, I just want to say that the way we came about this, uh, my husband's cousins raced their boats, and they will be racing here. And when he visited, they visited a couple of times, they just loved Highlands, fell in love with it. And this is how it all got started. The last meet they had was at um, Lake of Pacon, uh, which went very well, but they don't want to do it there because it's a smaller, smaller place. And they were looking, they've been looking for a place in Jersey. They were down in Atlantic City. They were in Point Pleasant for a while. But uh, now they'd like to come here, and uh, I think it's going to be a great thing, just another reason to come to Highlands. We're going to stay here. And have fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. Another thing that we yeah. were thinking about is having it before the season. That way, right. if people want to watch from Sandy Hook on the Bay side, they can use all of that Sandy Hook parking lot that they use our town for in the mm -hmm. season, but all those people can park mm -hmm. over there in Sandy Hook and then bring their beach chairs and uh, and watch from 
from the Bayside beaches. They could be really great. Absolutely. What are the parameters? How public? It's on the. Uh, yeah, there's a map. There's a map attached to your okay. paperwork, but it pretty much goes from the bridge to um, uh, Sandy Hook Bay Marina and then back. Yeah. And there's uh, different classes. There's uh, smaller boats, like a 17, 18 uh, uh, foot long boats, all the way up to 34. And there are various races. And that will be on Sunday. Sat or Friday and Saturday are meet and greet and hang out. Uh, they also want to put a couple of uh, boats in the parade, in the St. Patty's Day parade, to start to gin up, uh, you know. Uh, how many people How many day. people do you think will come to the event like that? Well, I heard today that uh, somehow the organization, it got out, and the guy's been deluged already with the speed voters' requests yeah. they want to sign up to be in on it. So they're really... Think about it, it'll be like an, another parade day, if not more. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, uh, yeah, that's where we are. And yeah, I, th I think it'll be a great Shadow thing. boxes from... Shadow boxes? Yeah, to bring people into town. To, oh, know, yeah, sure. It, and and, and uh, I spoke with Carla just before the meeting, and she said they're working on... Uh, but logos and uh, everybody's sealed, the town sealed, there's going to be seals on it, a web page is going to be formed, so it's all falling into place. And uh, as far as the fishermen go, well, it will be uh, striper season already, of course the clamors are always working every day, but they are far out into the river, and every, uh, I think after one race, they shut down for like 45 minutes, and the Coast Guard, that's what they will be doing, is letting the boats that are boating or fishing or the clamors coming in to go back and forth in between times there. And that would only be on the Sunday. Sunday, I think. Right. Of it. So. And so, yeah, those six races run from 11 till 4. Okay, yeah, and then everything in between, as mm -hmm. as uh, Karen said, they'll be shut down to let, allow any boating traffic through. And how about parking? Could they park at Street? They'll be parking all over. They'll, they'll be parking park all over the place. Right. right. Yeah, we're working that out. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So, and also, too, uh, on Marine Place, Perini's right next to our house. There's room, there's room for three or four boats to park there as well, too. But it's uh, Dave Bake, Baker's Marina is going to be putting them in the water. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm first coming to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true with the trailer. So, all right. Okay. So then, next up is uh, reports. Reports. So, I'm delving a little bit more into other things that are just not all about projects that we're doing. Um, so, first off, we're going to start off with the elementary school. And... Uh, on for February 13th, the students participated in 100 days of school. You're never too old to be kind. Uh, they have also asked that everyone uh, join the Kids Heart Challenge, and that uh, information can be found at www.heart.org forward slash schools. Uh, then you can just put in Highlands Elementary School, and then you can go from there. Uh, their new HVAC is going to be installed over the spring break. And the roof replacement is going out to bid soon. They're expecting to be able to complete uh, the new roof over summer break so it won't interfere with classes at all. Um, in Henry Hudson news, on February 1st, Admiral's basketball player, Junior Jack Fitzpatrick, <coughs> scored his 1,000th point. The team went on to win uh, the Class A Central Championship, and they made it all the way to the semifinals in the state tournament um, but they did suffer a loss on February 29th. Uh, the middle school girls also were, did, had a really, really great season, and they made it to the championship on February 22nd. Sadly, they lost that game as well. But they got there. It's been a long time since they did. Um, it's not all about sports, so check out uh, the HHRS digital video channel to see uh, student productions such as the yearly lip dub and my favorite, the hot seat, where uh, the students interview teachers while eating hot wings. It's very, very funny. Um, then for around town, starting off with emergency services, calls answered in February. First aid squad was 20, the police a whopping 400, uh, sorry, 645. 
and the fire department 14 calls. Code enforcement, we had four summons, five warnings, 14 reports, 16 inspections, nine permits, and three OPRAs answered. Our new building department for February had completed 62 inspections, where 44 passed, 11 failed, and six were not ready. Permits issued were 36. For our DPW, a big shout out goes to DPW for their efforts for clearing the snow for our two storms in February. Borough events, uh, please check the recreation page and also highlandsnj.com for event info. Remember, parade day is March 23rd. Uh, for the sewer project, uh, the work that is being done right now is um, uh, from Waterwich uh, Recreation to Bay Avenue, replacement of mains and laterals and the force main. Uh, they should be going back onto Bay Avenue between North and Atlantic Streets. That should be soon. It was supposed to be this week, but with all the rain, that sort of gotten jettisoned. Um, in the spring, we're looking forward to the updates at Veterans Park taking place, and that's inclusive of adding picnic tables, water fountain, adding solar lighting, upgrading the basketball courts, and adding a checkers and chess table. Um, no real updates on these other things. Uh, our community our community rating system coordinator is still going strong. She has identified uh, quite a few properties where we can get our uh, national violations lifted and uh, get those off the bad list. And uh, for the last bit of my report is starting off the year with a bang. We got our first grant. Uh, for $40,000, and that is uh, a fire department grant that's from uh, American Rescue Funds. And uh, this grant can be used for protective clo clothing, cleaning and advanced cleaning equipment, breathing apparatuses, and uh, personal protective equipment. So we're starting out well early. And that is my report. Uh, the only other thing I have to, to add is I'm trying to, I'm in the process of finalizing a meeting with myself and uh, Stephanie from H2M for the uh, residents on Central Avenue in that area there um, before the roads get reconstructed. So we're looking for probably March 18th, the Monday, right before the next council meeting. From about 6 to 7, we're going to sit down in here and uh, just go over some of their concerns and what we're looking at for road restoration. And I will uh, keep everyone updated as to what goes on with it. And that's for Ocean Beach and um, Central? Yes. Joe, did you have anything else you want to add on to that? Our survey crew is wrapping up Portland Avenue, so we're looking to get that survey released to uh, start to walk with Spencer and uh, start planning those improvements. Uh, we are looking at starting around on our last April 1st, uh, a side drive construction. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm looking for early April to sit down uh, and discuss future improvements that are part as well as the study. Uh, so a lot of stuff on offer, but I understand with the votes and a lot of stuff coming up with the launch strategic construction. Given that the virus is so much going on, we're going to find it and we'll discuss when we do it. Okay, perfect. Does anyone have anything else they want to add? Council Member Melman, you arrived at 719. Just to, um, as you mentioned before, mm -hmm. when it comes to events, right? Sure. Uh, this time on Saturday, we have the Guinness Run at Off the Hook at 2 p.m., and uh, apparently 98 pre registered people we have. So it's going to be a successful one, as the other ones that we had already. And St. Patrick's, uh, apparently, we have. 
over 100 units have signed up already. So Highlands, get ready. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. That's all. If no one has anything else to add, I will open up the public portion. Individuals wishing to address the council shall be recognized by the presiding officer and shall give their name, address, and the group of any they represent. Although the council encourages public participation and reserves the right for this presiding officer to terminate remarks to and or by any individuals not in keeping with the conduct of a proper and efficient meeting, if any individual refuses to conduct themselves in a proper manner, they will be removed from the meeting. The council will not, during the public portion of this meeting, discuss matters involving employment, appointment, termination of employment, negotiations, terms and conditions of employment, evaluation of the performance of, promotion, or discipline of any specific or respective or current employee. There's a three-minute time limit for your comments. It's kind of like instant replay. <laughs> um, Joseph Doran, 102 Valley Avenue. Um, with regards to the uh, 14 North Peak Street project, um, Mr. Galvin, who was here at the meeting two weeks ago, has contacted me, and we've been in touch. He has explained to me what's going to happen next. Um, I don't know if anyone here has been informed as to what's going to happen next with regards to the uh, land use board hearing the case. Um, he told me that that would be the next step that would need to be taken before any kind of enforcement could be even tried. Um, so, um, so I had a conversation with him today, and he explained to me all the parameters of that. And so I'm, I'm comfortable with all of that. The only, the only issue is that my problem persists with the runoff in the water. And as we're speaking, it's happening right now. Um, and I explained that this can go on for quite some time. And um, the, uh, the uh, wheels of justice move, move really slowly. <laughs> so, uh, but I have to wait. I have to wait and, and until that happens. And um, I don't know if Mr. Farku has submitted anything since last August. Um, has there been any anything that anyone knows of with the engineering department? Has he supplied any any documents? Well, it's not the, Carl yeah, regardless of that, the, 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 the land use board is going to force a hearing, okay, whether he's provided it information or not. But that won't happen until May or possibly June, and Mr. Galvin said to check with Nancy when that might be scheduled. So, um, we'll so, probably have an answer for you uh, on that probably later tomorrow. Okay. We generally have a meeting um, with the land use board and the attorney and the engineer right. a couple of weeks before, so we plan our schedule a couple of right. months out. Right. Okay. So um, that's where it's at, and you know, I, I'm just letting everyone know that, that I know what's going on, and I appreciate that. Um, we're, we're finally at a place where we might be moving this process along, uh, as as opposed to just going around in circles. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to wait. Perhaps it could be another whole year or so before anything's even resolved. And, and, uh, we'll see once we get him before the board. Yeah, but his, 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 his game is to delay, <laughs> delay, delay. And, you know, that's, that's the game we're playing with him. And um, it's just constant. And I have been in touch with Mr. Barclou over the weekend because of the storm on Saturday. And so I texted him and told him what was happening. And I also texted Free Old Soil again. And um, I thought Mr. Farco was going to do some repairs on, on Monday, but that didn't happen. And uh, Free Old Soil guy told me he couldn't get out till later in the week. And he was in touch with Mr. Farco, so 
I mean, I just want him to reinforce the slope better than he has. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the sill fence and the hay can only do so much. It's, it's helping. Without it, it would be ten times worse. But he needs to put more. He needs to fix what gets damaged. And he doesn't do anything unless I call him. And, and, you know, and it's always after the fact. It's never before the problem occurs. Sure. So, but anyway, I just want to let everybody know what's happening. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for your help. Absolutely. Thank you. Executive session. Executive session will be held following the regular council meeting. Prior to each executive session, the borough council will convene an open session at which time a resolution will be adopted in accordance with NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 13. No formal action will be taken during executive session. Resolution to enter executive session. Be it resolved that the following portion of this meeting shall not be open to the public. Be it further resolved that private consideration is deemed required and is permitted because of the following noted exceptions set forth in the Act. PBA contract. Be it further resolved that it is anticipated that the matters to be considered in private may be disclosed to the public at a later date when the need for privacy no longer exists. I will make that offer. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Motion to carries to enter executive session at 726. Um, executive ended at 746. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Meeting adjourned at 746. Yeah.